In the Bible, the book of Hebrews looks at similarities and differences of Jesus alongside important people and events during that time. When Jesus came on the scene, because he is the Son of God, whose purpose was to die for the sins of all mankind, he became our everlasting high priest, which eliminated the need for priestly service in the Old Testament. In Hebrews chapters 1 through 8, it tells us how great Jesus is compared to all prophets, angels, Moses, earthly priests, the Torah, sacrifices, and covenants. The book of Hebrews makes clear the superiority of Jesus and encourages us to stay faithful to him even in the midst of hardships we face in life. In other words, Jesus' supremacy is due to him coming to earth in human form as God's son. Even the name he was given by God is more exquisite than any other names given to angels and man. This is proof right here for anyone who have questions about praying to or worshiping angels. The answer is no. Don't do it because Jesus ranks higher than angels. Hebrews strongly focuses on faith in an effort to keep us from being lackadaisical and thinking it's not important. The word faith is monumental in the book of Hebrews because it is written 26 times in this book alone. That tells me that having faith in God is a big deal. Hebrews 11 verse 6 said, and without faith it is impossible to please God. That's our proof. The book of Hebrews goes on and mentions people who God himself accredited with great faith. It talks about the faith of Abel, Enoch, Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Joseph, Moses, Rahab, and many others. The Bible tells us that some of them died in faith, having not received their promises, but seeing it afar off. Hebrews 13.7 said, Remember your leaders and imitate their faith. So that tells me that the book of Hebrews is essential for our faith and spiritual growth.